In this video, I will show you exactly how to set up Monday.com for objectives and key results framework. I will do it using example of two departments and six team levels. This you will know exactly how to adapt this example to your business so you can hit your goals every quarter. Objectives and Key Results is a performance management framework designed to encourage companies to set, communicate, and monitor broad organizational goals and results. The framework is meant to be transparent and to align businesses, teams, and individual objectives in a hierarchical but a measurable way. So objectives are usually qualitative and they have three to five key results that must be set as quantitative to achieve that objective. Com is an execution platform. So where should these levels go? Should they have a separate board or a separate column? How to report them so that strategic companies projects are aligned with key results and key results are aligned to objectives? I also receive questions. Where are the projects and tasks if you are just setting the key results as items and how to monitor and report them? Is it at all possible on Monday.com? So today I will explain one of the ways to actually establish objectives and key results in a way that you execute it and in a way that you can execute them on Monday and also work across departments and team levels. Now let's talk how executive department and team levels achieve alignment when it comes to objectives and key results. In this specific example, we will be looking at marketing department. So executive level is represented by chief marketing officer. His objective or hers is increase brand activations. Now, after initiation phase of the objective, Chief Marketing Officer decides that key results must be get 1,000 new signups for the product and launch a brand event. Now, Chief Marketing Officer knows the two primary departments that needs to be assigned for these key results is Content Department and Partnerships and Events Department. Then, Head of Content receives objective get one new signups while partnerships and events head is launching a brand new event. Then they need to make sure that this specific objectives has three key results that drives objective success. Let's look at the content. If you are planning to get 1000 new signups, you definitely need to increase your click through rate. Then you need to look at more channels to post your content and also grow subscriber base and the best KPI would be percentage per week. With launching a brand new event is a bit different. You need speakers, you need event facilitation and also event registrants, but everything by specific date because event is driven by date. So that's how department level gets its objectives and key results. Now, each of these departments have different teams that will be working to achieve those key results. So the most conservative way is to take the key result and provide it to a team. A team, for example, the content team or a blog team, which is looking at increasing the click-through rate. Social team is looking at 12 new mediums and channels to post all the new content, while newsletter team is growing subscribers. With the event, we are looking at the man generation team, partnerships team, and event manager team. So the man generation team is driving registrations. Partnerships team is working to sign speakers while event managers team is facilitating event. And the key result is that event happens. So as you see, 
the department level pushes those specific key results to a team level to make sure that it's granular enough to get that objective to succeed. So this is just one way to structure the levels of objectives and key results. In the next section, we will look at what it means for your Monday configuration, where teams should go, department levels, how can you report on them, and how can you execute the task level, because the objective growth subscribers might have many tasks. Facilitating an event also as might have a really long list of tasks to complete. So how can you monitor the success of both the key results and objectives? And what is the structure that we are looking to achieve? The primary objective is to have visibility of six key results that we outlined in the map previously. So the first step is folders. We need to start with department folders. That's where teams operate. So what I did is I set up content department and partnership and event department. Key results are owned by teams and driven by their actions. So that's why we also need to create team folders. Let me show you team folders and content department. So we have two level of folders, one and second on Monday, and that's where we use team folders, newsletter team, social media team, and block team. And for partnerships department, we have demand generation team and event team. We can use these folders to collapse for better visibility and easier access. So once we have these folders, the third step is to create teams boards that would be structured to mirror column that would provide some average or status of the overall key result. We start the master boards. Every department should have its own key results master board. As we previously seen, content department received these key results. Average click-through rate, 36 promoted content pieces, and 5,000 newsletter subscribers. So that's why we are structuring this master board based on key results and because all objectives and key results framework is recommending to drive key results for each quarter. We are using groups for quarters. Columns can be very different depending on a company's preferences. We often use risk scores and priorities, and we also make use of views to easier access for the specific key results. The reason is because each key result might have very different formulation and different KPI, so we end up with a lot of mirror columns. So what I do is I create separate view for each key for much cleaner view and usability. Now that we have master boards, we need to create those specific team boards for specific key result. Now let's talk about the first one, which is click through rate. This one is driven by content team or block team and comes from the content calendar, okay? And what we do is we create mirror columns. I will not be demonstrating how to do that now, but they are connected through mirror columns to the master board. So each campaign is being monitored and from third-party tools, we can push data or it can be added manually for click-through rate. And this click-through rate becomes a mirror column right here. And we see the average one. In the settings, we can make sure that this is summarized as some average, mean, median, minimum, or maximum. So for this specific key result, we are using 
average. If we are looking at the promoted content pieces and that specific key, what we see is that company decided not to go with the number, but they're interested to see the status of each content piece that was supposed to be promoted in that quarter. So we see very different type of reporting here that company is happy with. And the final one is 5,000 newsletter subscribers which is based on the number of subscribers for each campaign. So if we go to the campaign status right here, we see a number of subscribers and this column again becomes an average or a sum in that master board. Provides full visibility plus execution platform for you because as a department head you can go to the master board and track what is happening at the execution level with your objectives and key results the same with the partnerships and events partnerships department has master board for key results and views for each of them we go to the main table again the specific boards that are connected they are for the execution of those tasks and very accomplishments if we go to event team and event planning there are tasks that are connecting to that master board and the partnership and events department head can log in to see what is truly happening with each key result that specific quarter. So you see everything that you should see if you're working on objectives and key results framework on Monday. There are three primary reasons why I suggest this specific structure for objectives and key results framework. The first one is Monday has very annoying limitation for subfolders. You can have just one layer of subfolders. Another critical element is to have reporting for some items might be tricky and require third party apps. That's why an one item level at some team board should have data associated with key result. There are videos on YouTube that suggest having objectives as a group and key results as tasks but from my experience such complex operations like marketing require folder and air to breathe and plan initiatives like hiring new assistant which falls out of all that planning framework from all of the different structures i experimented with this one seems to work best for the all different sizes of companies. Last word of advice, all guides, frameworks, and workflows are aspirational. You may find so that some of the suggestions here can be applied to your organization, and that's okay. Feel free to bend the rules when necessary. There are definitely possibilities to have variations of objectives and key results on Monday. Different team structures, different collaborations, hybrid teams, remote teams require different configurations. So what's next? Objectives and key results framework is very general, so we can add many things to it and we can definitely go deeper into that level. So in the future videos, I will be looking how to combine objectives and key results and responsibility assignment metrics, which I'm very excited about. I will also be creating video about cross team initiative structure on Monday. And one thing that really kills effectiveness of key results is lack of feedback and updates and also clarity about them. So I will be also looking at how to integrate the weekly review and how to implement its structure and also monthly confidence health check on objectives. If you have specific questions and requests about objectives and key results framework on monday.com or other software or other management frameworks that you would like me to demonstrate how they might work on monday.com, please make sure to share your ideas and insights in the comments below. 